Hi everyone, welcome to the RPV Resonance Chemistry. Now I'll continue with my lectures on biomolecules, part number 8, particularly uh, carbohydrates, part number 8. In previous videos, I had uploaded like a very basic simple tricks regarding to the carbohydrates and their cyclic structures as well as how about uh, like a cyclic chain conformations. Uh, last video, I uploaded like uh, disaccharides, uh, sucrose, lactose, mannose, ma maltose, such type of uh, disaccharides and their complete structures. Now, in this session, I will discuss about uh, like a simple topic that is muta rotation. A very simple and useful topic, muta rotation. Okay, it is. I think it is below twenty minutes video, so I'll I'll give the complete detailed on muta rotation. Okay, now I had the like a glucose, so which is in crystalline form. So it existed either one form that is uh, like a D glucose. So a crystalline form, it is it, it existed like only one form. So according to the structural data, it is only one form. Whenever these are uh, like a D glucose present in the water that means uh, here the container having the like uh, two spoons of d-glucose whenever i'll add the sum of the sum of quantity of water okay like 10 ml or 20 ml of water so now here it shown like different different properties it's shown like alpha anomer alpha d-glucose beta d-glucose like a uh, open chain structure open chain structures so these type of compounds that means uh, in in particularly glucose in water that is aqueous solvents or aqueous medium so it's shown like a different different properties alpha isomer and beta isomerism alpha and beta isomerism now here the alpha isomer specific rotation and beta isomer specific rotation so one of the alpha isomer specific rotation like a down to certain point again another isomer like a specific rotation up to raise to certain point they both are equilibrium to each other like alpha and beta forms of specific rotations equilibrium to each other at a particular specific rotation point those tendency those phenomenon is called muta rotation those phenomenon is called muta rotation now let us go through the like a very simple example muta rotation now we know that here it is the like open chain comp open chain structure of glucose open chain structure whenever which is in water now here it forms the like a alpha isomer as well as beta isomer Like here it is the alpha isomer HOH HOH OHH HOH H. Now again it forms the like a beta isomer CH2OH. Now here OHH HOH H. H like a O H H H O H H. So this is the alpha and beta isomers. Alpha and beta isomers. Now here if this is the alpha D glucose. This is beta D glucose. This is open chain form. Open chain form of glucose. That is Emil Fisher model. So these are the three different forms. Now here it is a crystalline form. Here these are the these two forms of the alpha and beta D glucose isomers. These two especially do D glucopyranose. D -gluco pyranose rings now here beta d gluco pyranose rings okay now however these compound these are uh, this is the like alpha isomer and beta isomer so here alpha isomer having the like a specific rotation here the square bracket indicates a specific rotation 112.2 degrees okay now here the beta isomer having the specific rotation 18.7 plus 18.7 like it is the beta isomer specific rotation here it is the alpha isomer specific rotation now here Whenever these uh, uh, glucose moiety, which is dissolved in water, now this is uh, like alpha D glucose specific rotation 112.2 at, uh, at their crystalline form. Whenever which is dissolved in water, so here the specific rotation 112.2 uh, down to down to 52.7. Or, uh, some of the major textbooks they are given in the 52.6 okay now again 
So here the beta isomer 18.7. Beta isomer 18.7. It is raised up to 52.7. Approximately 6 or 7 doesn't matter. Okay. So here it is the like a specific rotation. Now what will happen? So here alpha isomer uh, down to 52.7. Beta isomer raised to 52.7 of their specific rotation. Now what will happen? So the what is the phenomenon? This phenomenon is called muta rotation. Okay. Now here uh, nothing is happening. Now here the like a uh, whenever the presence of a uh, uh, like water molecule here it is open up uh, that means here uh, it undergoes the reverse uh, keto and altotomerism like a uh, here simply it is the like a uh, cyclic chair conformation here it is the beta isomer why because here beta isomer is more stable than that of uh, like a uh, alpha isomer that's why i'll take the beta isomer moiety okay the remaining things are the same oh 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 okay now here whenever in the presence of H plus here it obstruct the proton now here it creates the positive charge it creates the positive charge now here it undergoes their original position it undergoes their original that is keto and tautomerization like here it forms the OH here it forms the aldehyde okay now here OH 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 so this is the open chain structure this is the like open chain structure that means uh, beta form and alpha form they are converted to the open chain form so they are converted at a, a, a they both are equilibrium to each other at a specific rotation 52.7 both are equi equilibrium to each other at a 52.7 specific rotation that phenomenon is called muta rotation that phenomenon is called muta rotation so whatever the group either beta isomer or alpha isomer both will uh, transfer to like open Open chain structure that's why so some of the reactions some of the like uh, mild oxidizing reagents uh, bromine in water such type of mild oxidizing reagents will use the open chain structures so ozone derivatives so these these reactions will use the like open chain form so some of the reactions they are uh, satisfies the cyclic structure some of the reaction they are satisfied the cyclic structure however the, the quantity the measurement of the quantity so how much quantity present in the glucose moiety each and every glucose moiety how much quantity is present either alpha isomer or beta isomer or open chain isomer okay now let us discuss those quantities now here alpha isomer it it, uh, it available like uh, at almost all 34 percent so beta isomer is a 64 66 percent approximately not the equal so now here it is available like the 0.05 percent at their crystalline forms now here it crystallizes at room temperature almost all 30 degree centigrade temperature or uh, a little bit higher than that of the room temperature here it is very closer to the like a 100 degree temperature that is nothing but boiling point of water okay now here it crystallizes at the boiling point of water that is a beta isomer now alpha isomer crystallizes at the like a 30 degree centigrade temperature that is almost all nearer to the room temperature so that's why here it is more stable due to the like a, a equatorial position of the OH group now here again another it is uh, like a crystallization form is a higher temperature crystallization form is higher temperature so that's why beta isomer is more stable than that of the alpha isomer that's why here it is a uh, available the one entrance uh, abundance is 66 uh, percent now here it is only 33 34 percent here it is very very uh, small quantity that, that is 0.05 percent so again we have the like we have we accept one more question okay so however here it it, it gives the 0.05 percent how it gives the like ozone derivative test bromine bromine water test like a uh, two lens test to those type of uh, very mild mild uh, oxidizing agent test okay now however these compounds whenever which is dissolved in water here it converts into open chain form so that's why it gives the more and more test okay uh, whatever the alpha isomer or beta isomer whenever these compounds are dissolved in water here it converts the like their open chain form of the like a muta rotation uh, forms now that's why here it is available uh, open chain form is more quantity at aqueous solution more quantity at aqueous solution so that's why here open chain form reactions are also given that okay so this is the overall uh, very simple basic lo logic about the muta rotation now how th this is the 34 percent this is the 98 percent how it is possible let us calculate the these values uh, through the like a uh, mathematical derivation okay now here alpha isomer is alpha isomer specific rotation is uh, 112.2 approximately it is 112.2 now so then beta isomer is 100 minus uh, sorry so let let us assume a is the like a percentage of alpha isomer percentage of alpha isomer now like a 100 minus a is the percentage of beta isomer 
Okay, now on the outlet is percentage of beta isomer. So, however, these two are uh, equilibrium to each other. That means uh, the both are equilibrium to the, each other at a point that is 52.7. That means here A is uh, like both both points equilibrium to uh, at open chain form. So, A is 112.2 degrees into A. This is positive value plus 100 minus A into like uh, 18.7 degrees is equal to 52.7 degrees it is equal to 52.7 degrees in, into like a so it is into 100 okay so that is a very simple thing okay now let us calculate 112.2 a plus 100 into 18 that is a 1800 1870 okay so minus 18.7 degrees now here 52 uh, 5270 5270 that is this is the 100% that's why I'll, I'll add the 100 over here so now here 112.2 minus 18.7 uh, this is approximately 93 that means uh, 12 uh, that is 5 11 so that is a uh, 3 93.5 is equal to 5270 5270 minus 1870 so that is approximately three four hundred. Here it is the A. Okay. So this is the percentage of A. So A is equal to ninety three point five A. A is equal to three thousand four hundred by ninety three point five. So here A alpha is more approximately thirty three point three six three six three six. That that is closer to the thirty four percent. So if alpha isomer is thirty four percent, then beta isomer is hundred minus A. That is hundred minus thirty four. That is closer to the 66 percent that's why here 66 percentage of, of beta isomer is available beta isomer is available this is the simplest calculation for the percentage of alpha and beta isomers however this is the general uh, general percentage but c13 nmr data will give them like five types of isomers are available in uh, uh, glucose multi glucose aqueous solution five five types of isomers so that is a very interesting thing so according to c13 data now here alpha isomer uh, approximately 38.8 percent beta glucopyranoses these are the alpha glucopyranose okay now again beta glucopyranose approximately 60.8 now again alpha glucopyranose that means uh, it may be possible for the fifth position that is uh, it may be out of the like cyclic ring at third carbon uh, third chiral center OH so beta furanose is also possible that is 0 0.14 percent beta glucofuranose so that is 0 0.15 percent again final thing is open chain form that is 0 0.045 percent so according to the c13 nmr data these are the percentage of uh, alpha isomers uh, the like uh, simple glucose in aqueous solution simple glucose in aqueous solution so this is the very simple thing regarding to the mutual operation now i'll give the one more question i'll accept the one more question for you okay for your practice now uh, <coughs> let us do uh, very simple Okay, now here. Okay, now what is the compound? Here it forms the like open chain form. Undoubtedly, here it forms the like corresponding open chain form. Aldehyde, OH, 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 OH. Okay, again it gives the another type of isomer that is beta isomer. Here it is OH like OH, 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 okay. So now here it is the alpha isomer, here it is the beta isomer. So the alpha isomer specific rotation 29.3, so beta isomer specific rotation minus 17 degrees, beta isomer specific rotation minus 17 degrees. The open chain form, they both are equilibrium to each other at a 14.2 degrees specific rotation, okay. So this is the overall data regarding to the corresponding compound. So the first question, so what is the name of compound? name of the compound okay what is the name of compound now the second second point now what is the percentage of uh, percentage of alpha isomer percentage of alpha isomer as well as beta isomer calculate the percentage of alpha and beta isomers uh, uh, by using the previous method formula okay that's all for this video this is the very simple thing as so well let's do uh, it is very easier uh, very easier 
problem okay so if you calculate the, these type of uh, problems uh, please mention the uh, answer in comment box okay so what is the name of compound again the percentage of alpha isomer and beta isomer if it is possible i'll explain these uh, problem in next video or i'll pin the like a uh, uh, comment section uh, those values as well as the name, uh, name of the compound okay that's all for this video thank you so much for watching